Hallo. Um, we gaan naar Dark Souls. Yay. We're gonna play some Dark Souls. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just five more minutes. Just five more minutes for maybe an hour or so. So it's quite late already tonight. Um, but we've got a goal tonight. The goal is simple. We are gonna try. We are gonna try and kill the giant crabs. That's the goal. We kill the giant crabs, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, right. Um, right, so we're in the swamps today. So what are the swamps called? Let's just find out. The, the crucifixion woods. And in the crucifixion woods, there are, it's quite swampy in the crucifixion woods. And there's some giant crabs down here. So uh, that's what we're going to try and kill today. There's about three of these guys. They're really big and they're really angry. And they're pretty tough as well. It's not a good combination for us. So, yep. Yeah, we're just going to... Um... Oh. So, so far, we've had a couple of attempts um, at said crabs and all attempts have failed so they've got a couple of abilities um, one thing is if you leave the water um, the crabs will just burrow under the sand again and then regenerate all their health oh my god I love this weapon Clear out these little guys so we can actually get to the crabs though. Uh oh, they're great doing this attack. Oh, he missed. Good. Whoops. Oh, nice job, guys. You really hurt me there. Is that all? Um, we should swap to this weapon, because this weapon regens some of our health. This is our new weapon, this is our uh, butcher's knife. It's good, we like it. Okay, so four of these guys actually. I just said about the butcher's knife, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to use this greatsword. The flamberge, because it seems to do the most damage of all my weapons. Um, so I wonder if I can just go in the water now. Is that safe enough to go in the water? I'm concerned these guys are going to see me and aggro me, so I think I might clear some of these guys out from the coast. Yeah, okay, well, in that case, sorry, I'm going to equip this weapon, because this weapon regens health. Um, on kills. Oh, he just killed his friend. Oh, that was a good poke there. I can't believe he just killed his friend. guy as well. Why not? Since he's here. Oh! Okay, is the coast clear to fight some crabs? Nope. Just aggroed another one. Aggroed another little dude over here. Hey, how's it going? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're 
we're going to swap to um, the flamberge because this just seems to do a lot of damage. Now, which crab do we want to fight first? Sure, I think I might start from the oops, the other end of the forest. Um, this end up here, because this feels like the the dead end. So we start from here and work our way down. Um, actually, let's. Too many items down here we've missed. Oh shit, we are at the door. So this looks fairly safe, apart from that guy. Okay, so we've been on the other bank. So we, we, we've been on there. I, f I feel like maybe we might have actually got everything we need from the swamp without having killed any of the crabs. Certainly wasn't my intention. But I feel like that might be the case. We definitely gotta kill at least one of these crabs though. I mean we can't just go through this area and not kill the crabs. Oh my god, here's a crab. Oh, look, we've got some kind of special repost. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we're moving really slowly here. God, we're gonna kill the crab. Yes, kill the crab. Oh, look at that! Great swamp ring. Hell yeah! What does that do? I didn't think I get a ring. I thought these were just like random monsters. Great swamp ring boosts pyromancies. Ring said to be chiselled from the bone of a flame salamander by blighted pyromancies, py pyromancers, living in the great swamp. Boosts pyromancies. It is believed that salamanders are descendants of demons born of the Chaos Flame, from which pyromancy is also said to have originated. Cool. Well, sweet. Right, let's swap back to our pokey stick because this one regens health. I'm really pleased we killed one of the, the crabs. Okay, what else did we have? Um, Okay, we need 600 more souls to level up. So we're nearly there on the soul front. Yeah, look, there's another crab over here. It's funny, this one didn't give me any health when I killed it. Can we see any more? So there's one crab over there. A couple of wee crabs. Now this coastline is very dangerous. The coastline has got quite tough enemies on it. But we have been there. We've been there and cleared it. It's just like a little dead end up there. Um. Hmm. The 
crab seemed a lot easier this time. Maybe I'm being more aggressive. Like last time I felt like I've spent the whole time dodging. This time I might have been up more in his face. I felt like I did more water attacks this time. And the water attacks don't really do much damage, it's the claws that are dangerous. Oh, is this deeper? Yeah, this looks really deep here. Okay. Oh, it was one of those... This crucified guy, see in front, just above my uh, character's head. Yeah, they're really dangerous, they're, they're pretty tough opponents. Right, there's definitely at least one more giant crab we could go and we can go kill. God, this water is so slow. You would not want to be fighting like the crab in this water. I think you would just die. You'd be doomed. Are there any items lurking over here, though? Anything hiding in the water? I think Dark Souls would do is just hide some awesome item, just in the back end of some marsh right in the corner nope, no items so I felt like there were a lot of crabs but actually it seems there are only from what I can tell there's only two giant crabs hmm Excuse me, crabby dudes. I really like the crabs. I think the crabs are so cool. Favorite um, enemy in the game so far, the crabs. Okay, you see me. Didn't actually want to be using this weapon, but okay. He pinched me. Oh, can I get a repost? No, it's too slow. What is that? Why is he glowing purple? Oh crap, I went out of the water. God damn it. Like he, he came back up. Oh, my weapon has like poisoned him, look. He's taking damage all the time. damage there. Oh, we're moving really slowly. It's taking even more damage. Look, look at all the damage it's taking. Oh, we're out of stamina. Ouch. Yeah, I've poisoned them. This weapon has poisoned them. Nice. I like this thing more and more. What do we get? Titanite shard. Hell yeah. Oops. Didn't mean to use that. Never mind. Yeah, so hang on. It's got... Okay, so defeating foes restores health, right? But also, it says that spear is enwreathed in rotten, heavily poisonous meat. So additional effects, I didn't notice this before, but look, poison effects strength. So I, I um, not only does this thing regen health when you kill stuff, but it also poisons enemies, like that spider, uh, not spider, the crab. That crab took loads of damage from my um, poison effect. Sweet, well now that crab's dead, we can explore the swamp now. 
just kill this wee crabby dude. Sorry, crab. I didn't want you to pinch me in the butt. And they do pinch you in the butt. Because I've tested it. And they pinch me in the butt. Ooh, Fallen Knight. This armor set looks cool. How heavy is it? Um, similar weight. Oh, this stuff looks really kick-ass. It's lighter than mine. Oh yeah, we're gonna wear this. This stuff looks really, really cool. So what does it say? Okay, the helm of helm of a fallen uh, helm of an order of fallen knights who disbanded and fled but met untimely deaths. Hang on, sorry. I had to interrupt because a little crab was trying to bite me in the butt. <laughs> Excuse me, crab. I was reading. Helm of an order of fallen knights who disbanded and fled, but met untimely deaths. The drab tattered hood conceals tough black metal, which provides dependable protection from fire. Alright. Okay. It is just possible to make out the majestic gold engravings on its surface. Yeah, I can kind of see it. This, this armor set looks really cool. Oh, there's an item over there, look. I'm quite disorientated, actually. And by quite disorientated, I mean I'm totally disorientated. I don't know where I just came from. Hey, crabby dude. Right, so this is the coastline, right? Yeah, this is the coastline I came across. The, if I remember correctly, the deep water's over here. Yeah, and that's the other coast. Okay, yes. So, how do we want to do this? Let's follow this edge around. We'll stick to the right-hand edge and see where it takes us. Okay, so we've been in here. I don't think I've really been up there yet. Oh, there's a guy with a big club up there. That looks a bit scary. So there's some loot over there in the distance. And loot up there in the castle. And loot up there. Loot everywhere. I don't see any more giant crabs, so that's good. Because they were rather tough. And loot up there on the shore. Okay, loads of loot. Right, I'm just going to make sure that uh, this whole water area is complete. And then we'll, we'll work out where to go next. Okay, so there's a way up. I thought that was loot, but it was just a reflection. And there's some kind of way in here. I bet that there's some horrific enemy in there, so we're not going to go in there just yet. Let's uh, go around the edge and see what's what. Excuse me, crab. Some green blossoms. Cool. Hmm. Well, I'm enjoying this Dark Souls. keep seeing these reflections and I swear that they are um, loot. Is that loot over there? Straight ahead? I think it might be. Yeah, look at this. There's loot. How did I, how did I miss this? I have no idea. Oh, look. Conjurator. 
And the Great Swamp Pyromancy Tome. Sweet. I don't know how I missed this. Like, I felt like I explored this really thoroughly. But apparently not. Conjurator Hood. A tire of travelling conjurators. Conjurators were the predecessors to pyromancers and spent their lives roaming the lands. No wonder their attire was designed to protect them from fire, poison and other threats of nature. I guess it's got good resistances then. Yeah, it does. Cool. We're not going to wear that for now. We're going to wear a kick-ass uh, set we're proudly showing here. I'm wondering what this weapon's special attack has actually. Spl shield splitter, okay. So I guess that I can just use that and smash those shields. Okay, I need to decide where to go next. Um, I feel like I've definitely not been over here. Um, so if I remember correctly, I did come up here a little bit. I think there was a way into the building. Oh my god, shit. I'm not where I thought I was. And there are large clubbed men trying to hit me with clubs. Ouch. Oh, he's got... Uh oh. Oh, there's two of them. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. We're in big trouble. We are getting damage in, though. I think this one is more dangerous with the fast weapon. That's disappointing, I missed that. Oh, he got me with the end of that attack. Oh. Can I heal? Uh oh. I cannot heal. That was a bad time to heal. Jeez, who are these guys? And why are the crabs so angry at me? <laughs> They're good if they hit each other. Uh oh. That was a badly timed attack. We're running out of health potions. Uh oh, badly timed attack. Oh my god, I couldn't dodge. I was just getting attacked by all the attacks. Attacked by all the attacks? You know what I mean. Okay, we're out of health potions, that's it. This guy's pissed off now. Oh. Okay, we're gonna try and... Oh, the crabs! The crabs are pinching me! Oh my god, the crabs have blocked me in and are pinching me. Terrifying. <laughs> I really just want the loot! Give me the loot! Okay, we got the Exile Greatsword. Don't know if that was worth losing half our health over. <sighs> we got trapped by the crabs! What a nightmare! I feel like this guy might be backstabbable. Oh my god, dodge, dodge, dodge. <sighs> well, he didn't dodge for god knows how long, and then when he finally did dodge, he dodged straight into a big ass attack. It's, um, some of these attacks hit you, and then when they hit you, you're just unable to even move. Oh, what a nightmare the crabs are back. Jesus Christ. Okay, where would my souls go? I have no idea where I just died. Oh, 
Where did my souls go? I can't believe the crabs are back. That's a nuisance. Right. I feel like I was up at a new area. Like, I didn't mean to be at the new area. I just kind of accidentally ended up there. Um... But I'm not sure where this new area is. Okay, so it was not along there. This is where I thought I was going to be, but I wasn't. So where the heck did I die? Where were those black knights? Shit. Oh, dogs are coming. Yeah, I heard you coming, cheeky monkey. Right. Oh, I can't, I can't believe I died. I was so close to beating that guy as well. If I hadn't been trapped by the crabs, those little crabs totally trapped me. I couldn't move. <laughs> he hunted me down. Right. I thought I had movement, but... These guys are creeping me out. A little patrol of stabbers. Hmm. Where's up there where I aggroed the guys? Is that my souls? On that coastline? Hang on, I've got binoculars, right? use. I'm not sure how to zoom with the binoculars. I can use them. No, that. I think that's my souls over there, but I'm really not sure. How the heck do you zoom? It's not that. This is getting annoying. How do you zoom? Is it this button? Nope. Is it... Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, we're in with the crabs. It's bad news because attacking the crabs can aggro more crabs. Yeah, this crab is pissed off with us. I think that's our souls over there. I'm going to have to fight this crab first. Can't believe it. Slow. He slowed us. Oh, that hit us square in the face. Okay. We want to get this guy. God, the attacks! He's so angry! Really angry crab! Okay, I think we poisoned them. Yeah, we got them poisoned. Yes! Repost. That's it. Stab him. Right in the face. Get him. Come on, kill him. Yes. Right, this little crab dude was quietly sneaking up to bite us in the butt during that fight. Okay, god, it's tense. Right, I've used two healing potions fighting that crab I didn't want to fight. Okay, any more crabs want to be little jerks? No? Right, let's get our souls back. Yes. Feel good about that now. Okay. So I killed one of these guys, right? One of these guys is dead. The other guy is very much still alive. So I don't know if these guys respawn. 
cut. If they respawn, it's going to be a pain in the arse. I may be able to fight this guy just mano a mano. This area looks fairly safe. Oh, he parried. That's terrifying. Yes, got backstab. That's what we like. Oh, that attack is really slow wind up. Right, he did some kind of heal, but I'm going to sneak in and get a backstab on him, which is good. Oh, that kick did not work. I don't want to trade blows with this guy, he's stronger than me. Uh-uh. Cut that out. Oh god, the heals. He must be nearly poisoned now, surely. Please no. Come on. Yes, got him. Oh, that was tough. Great club, one of them, please. Now, do we have that already? Oh <laughs> no, we had a large club. Now. We have a great club. Hell yeah. Oh, this one needs 28 strength. Wood club fashioned from the branch of a giant tree. Requires considerable strength to wield. A hard, durable weapon. Its weight makes it easier to break the guard of shields. Oh, look. Warcry. Light out a spouted Warcry that temporarily boosts attack. And... I didn't notice this before. And... Enables special consecutive strong attack. Didn't notice this of the, the war cry. I wonder what this. Uh, I guess if you strong attack twice in a row, you get something new. I wonder if before I could have attacked these guys like uh, one on one instead of I ended up fighting both at once uh, before to limited success. But we're doing okay now. We're doing okay. We are alive. And uh, we've got some Estus Flask left, so we're doing okay. Right, so I'm trying to figure out where I am. Okay, so that was the other side. Then we've got one giant crab here. Hello! And then we got a wee, some wee crab dudes. And then there's a way in here. Okay, what do we have here? There's a way down. Terrifying. Okay. And an item. Homeward bone. Two homeward bones. What is this? I'm guessing I can't open this. Yeah, I cannot open this. Can I get in there? Must be a way in though. Oh, yeah, it's like water down there. God, this is like a whole extra castle section. Alright. This this little nook here seems a bit pointless. You can't do anything here. There's a gate you can't open. Homeward bones. I mean, there is stuff down there, look. I wonder how you get down there. I can't jump that. Oh, well, of course, I could climb down this ladder. don't really feel like doing that right now. I want to explore this top area first. What does this say? Turn back. No, -uh. I'm not turning back. So, let's have a look at this new weapon, actually. So, I don't have enough strength to wield it one-handed. Right, I can 
do have enough strength to wield it two-handed. So how much damage does this do? This does um, 200 and 30. So it's just a bit more than this other club, but it is larger, like, in lengthwise. So it's going to probably be easier to hit enemies. You've got more, more range to hit enemies. Um, Similar moveset. Oh, I like the strong attack with this thing. That's really nice. Uh, okay, so up here, uh, was that nuke, like the little tunnel we didn't, we did not go through. Um, okay, let's finish exploring this little island. There's, there's some loot up here. We want to go have a look and, uh, and find out. Let's go get this loot. Let's be very careful. Okay, so there's a up here. Get out of the way. Oh, I can't roll with this because I'm, I'm, I'm fat rolling. Okay, let's experiment with this great club later when we actually have the stats for this thing. We can't really use this yet. Just gonna go back to our trusty. Uh, Arstar Spear. Which I must admit, I wasn't a fan of spears before, in Dark Souls 2 anyway, but in Dark Souls, in, in this game, kind of digging the spear. Seems very effective. What's this item then? Well, just a soul. Large soul of an unknown traveller. Can we kick this? And this is just the way in, yeah. What was that? Oh, it's just a wee crabby. Wee crabby. Wee crab dude. I love these big crabs, they're so cool. So cool. So the, over there is the other entrance into this castle. It's quite a big area, this swamp. I'm trying to um, take it all in and figure it all out. Let's go get this island first. Let's say we've explored this this island is now fully explored. Apart from the loot up there. Was it was it there? Yeah. Okay, so there's a path down the cliff. So if I could get up the cliffs up there somewhere. There should be a path down to get to this item. Unless I could just like jump it and cheat. Not seeing a place I can jump up. Of course it's ridiculous that you think you could just like jump or climb up to get the item, but not in Dark Souls. Not in Dark Souls. Apparently that's too big a jump for the Dark Souls guy. Okay, we got up here. Oh hey, we did it. We just did some ninja rolls. Golden Falcon Shield. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? What does this one do? It's a small shield with uh, strike. I guess you smack people. Like metal shield fashioned in the form of a falcon with wings outstretched. The Golden Falcon was the emblem of an ancient band of cell swords, and even to this day, many mercenaries remain. Uh, what? So, and even to this day, many mercenaries remain, oh, I see, many re mercenaries remain who look upon it as a token of good fortune. Sorry, that took a while to spit that out. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it's a bit of a rubbish shield, only 59% physical. I, I, my current shield um, does 100% physical. So this is physical absorption, so if I'm blocking with the shield, it absorbs all the damage. Um, whereas some of these other, well, all my other shields let some of the damage through, and it's just not worth it. Because you block and you still take, like, some of these, you still take half the damage. It makes it just pointless to block. You really need a shield that 
you know, does does what it's supposed to do. Blocks damage. <laughs> I'm wondering if you're not actually supposed to be able to jump up this. And I've pulled it off. Because it looks like there's a path down here. Where this is supposed to be taunting you. And then you find the secret path down to get to this. But I've just kind of secret jumped my way up the side. Okay, so places to go then. Um, I can go up. Up there. Into this other entrance. And there's a, a, a ladder down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to note down the ladder down and then we're going to go the other way just so I try and remember where's left I don't want to miss places out so in the swamp middle island has ladder down there we go that's recorded okay so past the angry crab there's a coastline, um, and it looked like there was a knight or something down there. I decided to turn the other way last time. Now, there's two kind of black knights here. Uh, but these were different knights, the ones here. So, like, it looked different, I'm sure. So, I'm going to not go that way just now. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know which ways to go. Let's follow this round. I don't think there's any more giant crabs over here. I think this area is safe. As safe as you get in Dark Souls. Which is not particularly safe. What does this say? Warriors slumber ahead. Oh, interesting. It's kind of pointing towards the graveyard, I guess. So that looks quite busy in there. I think I might explore this water area now through this tunnel. Um, is there also a way up here? Yes, there is. Oh my god, this area is huge, really huge. I'm going to explore this area, because this is would mark the, the last of the, the water that I've not explored. Um, there's an item. There's two items. And there's this big bastard lurking behind the corner. Look at this guy. Sneaky bastard. I see you. Oh my god, I can't target him. Combat is really difficult if you can't get the target on people. Whoa, terrifying. Good. Oh, the crab! The crab is trying to kill me! <laughs> oh my god, it took away all my stamina. Right, we're okay, we're okay. I think. Let's get him, get him, yes! Phew! Okay, we got him. You, you little bastard, stop trying to pinch me in the butt! So, the crabs don't do much damage, right? They only do a little bit of damage. And they look... They don't really aggro you, though. Like, they don't seem very threatening. But, if you don't kill the little crabs, they just quietly sneak up and pinch you in the butt at the worst possible moment when you're trying to fight a mob. Okay, what do we get in here? Ooh, a sage ring. Well, it probably sounds magical, but we'll have a look. Yeah, the sage ring shortens spell casting time. So we're not big on spells. We're going to be mainly... We might use a little bit of pyromancy, but we're pretty much going to be using just weapons. 
a ring given to Farron's Undead Legion by one of the Preacher Twins, more commonly known as the Crystal Sages. It shortens spellcasting time. The Sorcerers of Farron's Abyss Watches were known to be lonesome warriors who would only rely upon more pragmatic spells. Cool. What else did we get? So what are we in? We're in some kind of like cavern here. Oh, sorcerer set. We we'll probably won't be using this, but we'll read the uh, we'll read the lore. Here we go, sorcerer's hood. A tie of a sorcerer from the Vinheim Dragon School. Simple hood worn inside the robes. Represents those who have outgrown the academy, abandoning formal headwear and dis distancing themselves in order con to continue their research in solitude. Cool. Is that everything here? Any secret doors? Any of these sneaky, sneaky secrets? Let's attack these walls just in case. No, it looks okay. Right, so I'm glad I went in here. This this area was just a complete little dead end um, with loot. So that's that's what I want. I want to like have areas be complete. It's really tough when you've got like a dozen different um, loose ends. I'm trying to remember where all the loose ends are. Okay. So, where do we want to go next? I think we might want to rest at the bonfire and just reset. Uh oh, we've got a company. Oops. Oh my god, I'm getting stabbed quite a lot by these guys. They're quite difficult when there's... I mean, they're not... Oh, shit. They're not massively strong enemies, but... When they're in groups, they become a bit of a pain in the arse. There we go, getting all the backstabs. Oops. Come on. Stop turning. Fine. Oh, there we go, got a backstab at me. Got you. Regenerating some health. Right, how much do we need to level up? We need 8,600. So we've. If we level up twice, I'd reckon that's probably 9,000 for the next level up. So that would make it. I reckon. Um, what's 17. Uh, probably about 17,600. So, I'd say, if we get up to 18,000, we can level up twice, I'd say. So we need a bit more, a few more levels. Nearly there, though. Right, because we're low on Estes, we're going to explore the local area. Now, the local area had um, was, like, up this direction. Oh, come on, that should have been a backstab, though. Got you. Okay. So I remember that down this way had one of those big jerks. The really horrible ones. But I feel like I didn't actually explore that, um, that area afterwards. Hmm. Definitely didn't explore up here. So there's a room down here filled with guys, and then down the side, there's even more guys. We're gonna go down the side first. Just gonna check there's no one chasing me. Yeah, that's fine. I wonder if we can just backstab this guy. He's not looking. Yes, we most definitely can. Oh, 
also backstabbing. This is a bit annoying, this weapon doesn't do quite enough damage to kill them um, with one hit. I'm going to swap to this axe and see if that fares better on the backstabs. This thing's really cool. My character is looking really cool just now. Okay, so what do we have up here? There's an item down here. And then there's... Oh, there's two of those um, sacrificed, like the, the the crucified guys in this room. So we're going to come at this area from the other direction. Because if I jump down here, I'm going to be in a zone with two of those things at the same time. We do not want that. Um, so we're going to come down the other way. Down this way. Um, there's a wee room here. I'm going to do that afterwards. I'm going to come this direction first. Yeah, so look, this one will aggro me from really far away. So uh, I'm only fighting one at a time. Oh, the sound seems to have stopped. That's a bit odd. Can I get a backstab? No, apparently not. There we go. Chop him. Chop him good. It's odd when it's quiet, and that's not right. He should be making a whole lot of noise. He's decided to be all mysterious and quiet today. Those kind of look like support beams, actually. Probably shouldn't be. Oh no, they're not support beams. They're kind of. Uh, I guess they're kind of crucified. Crucifixion. Um, things. What would you call them? I don't even know what you'd call them. Crosses? Right, so I spy, my little eye, another one of these crucified guys. This is the area I saw from there, up there. I feel like I should be able to backstab this guy. Whoa. Oh, we're getting better at this. We're definitely getting better at this. Look at that. Right. Let's see what the dealio is in here. We've got some more crosses. We've got this fella, who's got an ember, thank you very much. And there was another one down here. More items. More items to be had. What did this guy have? An Estus Shard, yes! We like Estus Shards. Estus Shard gives us uh, more charges on our Estus Flask, basically more heals. Uh, right now I've got two heals left. I think I've got seven in total, so... Um, getting a, another Estus Shard is quite a big deal. It's good. So up there seems to be kind of entranceway. I'm just going to keep exploring. While we've got health on Estus Shards, we're just going to keep exploring. Now there was a way in here. Where is it? Here it is. Look, here we go. Shit, there's quite a lot of enemies in here. See if we can just grab one. You. Then you come. Oh. <laughs> I wanted one to come. No, I didn't want to aggro the guy that calls all the friends. Oh, these seem just like standard crappy hollows. Yeah, he died two hits. Oh, correction, three hits. Quite a lot of them though, it's a bit intimidating. Oh. Okay, the spellcaster's seen me. His friends haven't come to get me though. So if he wants to come around by himself, he's more than welcome. He's not coming though, is he? Oh my god, he's attacking his friend. Don't attack your friend. He's a bro. What is he doing? camera isn't set up quite right, actually. It's a bit off to the side. There we go. A bit centred now. Right, I want to grab some... Oh, we've got three. We don't really want three at once. Let's 
just gonna run out. Get to the choke point. Oops. There we go. Firebomb. Three firebombs. Okay, we've got three guys left. We're slowly getting the, the crowd thinned down. Don't really want the spellcaster on me at the same time as these other guys. Wow. Why is he not coming down? Come down, dude. Hmm. It's quite fast with those. I wonder if I can just run in and kill him. Uh oh, there's his friend. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, come on, die, 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 die. That's it. Here we go. Cheeky monkey. This weapon has a special ability that means that I can regen much more health. Um, so I need to remember to use that. Because I've got a bunch of the, the blue power left. Um, it's a re really a waste not to use it. Okay, well, we clear this area out. Not very expertly, but we eventually managed. And we have been rewarded with a heretic staff. This is likely not really for me. Let's have a look at it though. Heretic Staff. Catalyst used by generations of heretic sorcerers. Sorcery is a logical academic discipline and the power of sorceries depends heavily on the caster's intelligence. Skill of steady chant. Boost the strength of sorceries for a very short period. Okay. Right, so the next kind of big fight we encounter, we are going to, um, I'm going to try and remember to buff up this weapon and then I'll restore more health. Like that fight there would have been perfect if I had buffed up the weapon. Loads of combat in a short space of time. It's so frustrating when the enemies are like almost dead and then I try and just kill them and then all my attacks get interrupted. Really frustrating. Be wary of jumping off, says the message. Okay, so this is down there. That's where I killed those guys. And then what else we got? Oh, hello. There's a fella up there. Can we aggro him? We can. You've got to be much more precise with your targeting um, in Dark Souls 3. Like, you, you, you middle... I say middle click. I'm too used to being a PC. Um, you click the, the analog stick in to target that enemy. But if you don't get it quite right, it, it, it like resets your view. So if I click that, it points to where I'm looking at now. But if I were to see if I'm facing away from the enemy, right? And then I click. See, it flips me around. But if I'm facing an enemy... You see it flips me towards the enemy, so you've got to be so precise, otherwise it just doesn't work. This isn't the problem I've had a couple of times, I'm trying to run in to do combat. Oh. Got you. Did that kill you? It did. Okay. So I saw that there was a loot lizard around here. And my concern is there might be a bunch of enemies over the other side, so I don't want to go charging in like a nutcase trying to kill those lizards. If it means um, 
I'm gonna get myself cornered and surrounded. I heard I heard a zombie. Hmm. Okay, so where can we go? We can go along here. Oh, there's the sorcerer. There's a way up. Oh, we found a friend. God, I almost, uh, I said almost died. I mean, I am super, super almost dead. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to have to swap to... Where is it? This weapon. This weapon gives me more health back. This is kind of an emergency situation here. How little health we have. Okay, so this looks like an ambush. Yeah, look, there's a guy over there. See him? Is he coming? Come on. See, I've lost my targeting. It's... Okay, got a little smidgen of health back. We're gonna have to get a lot of smidgens back to uh, fully restore our health here. Yeah, look, this area was was like full of enemies that would that sorcerer in the middle is just gonna lure you out, and then you charge in, get killed. I just want to creep. Oh, I'm getting stuck on the terrain here. Oh, hello. Oh my god, come on! My weapon got stuck on the... on the wall. Oh my god, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Two sorcerers up there. Are we being insane? I think we need to go home. Yeah, I, what am I doing? I need to I need to go back. But before we go back, we're gonna try and kill that loot lizard. Because um Because if I fail then I'll, I'm coming back here in a moment anyway. Come on dude, come around the corner. Oh, such low health. It's unbelievable. Okay, I think he does like about three or four attacks. So we're gonna wait till this one, and then we're gonna buff our weapon. There we go. There we go, we've got some health back. Just enough that I'm kind of com well, not confident, but I feel like we could actually get in here and do some damage. One more enemy that I can see, anyway. This fella. Can we do one more buff? Hi. Oh, come on! The targeting! The targeting is driving me nuts! Okay, we got him as well. We're actually... With someone that's on absolutely no health, we're doing okay. Is this, this, this room cleared? Looks like it, yeah. Any more enemies sneaking around in here? No, I think... I think we're okay. Okay, so the upstairs has got an item over there. So what was the point of clearing this room? Was there any? Uh, I'm going to swap back to um, this weapon because this definitely gives more health for the average use. So how do we get up? So there's a path here. Is there a bonfire up here by any chance? Yes. 
I should I should really go back. Like I'm being totally foolhardy. What is that? Is that a fog door? Yeah, that's a fog door. Okay, we're gonna come back this way. We're gonna we're not gonna explore that room. It's too dangerous. It's way too dangerous. So this says sorcerer. So there's a way up there. Okay, so that's the way up. So what's on the other side? Uh, this was the bridge across. We explored over there. Just trying to trying to figure out where the heck I actually am. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so to the right there was a lizard. Now, for lizards, I should get a weapon that hits the ground. Now, what hits the ground pretty well? Oh, look, I forgot about this. Exile Greatsword. Bloodstained Greatsword wielded by one of the watchdogs of Farron. That's these two um, Black Knight kind of guys I killed. Who preside over the slumber of fallen warriors. The blade is a reminder of the exile's past misdeeds. Inhuman strength is required to wield this heaviest of curved greatswords. How much does it need? 24. I've got 24. I've got it. Inhuman strength. That's what I've got. Skill, skill is spin slash. Uh, slice into foes with large spinning motion. And continue spinning to transition into a strong attack. That seems pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, it's quite a long sword, actually. Yeah, I like this. But we can, we, we just can't use it right now. We've got to use a weapon that um, regens health. Um, but before that, we want to use a weapon that's going to hit the ground. Now, does this hit the ground? Kinda. Not great, though. What about the uh, large club? Does that hit the ground? It's very slow, but it does hit the ground. Normal club? Kinda. Partisan definitely has the ground. Um, I've lost it though. Where is it? It's like a weird, weird looking weapon. Yeah, this thing. The Lucerne even. The Lucerne hits the ground. Look. Hits the ground quite well. So look at that lizard. You can see him. Is there enemies though? We're gonna just charge for it and hope for the best. We're gonna hope there's no enemies. We're gonna charge in like absolute nutcases. Here we go. Oh my god, there's a secret enemy! You bastard! Oh, the thing got away. What a dick. That's really mean to put an enemy there. Okay, well we've missed the lizard coming down this way. Oh my god. Didn't die though. Didn't die. So let's have an explore down here. I hear what sounds like snoring. Where does this lead? Ah, finally, right, we've actually made some sense of the area. Oh, it says warrior slumber ahead. I was just saying, I thought I heard snoring. Okay, so if we go up these wee steps, we can come in here. Right. And then we can kill the enemy and then turn. Oh my god. Didn't hear this guy. Yeah, we can. Um, 
we can kill the enemy in this room and then go around the corner of the, the loot lo the loot lizard. So you gonna come down? Oh god, he's quite scary. Is there another one? What's up there? Okay, he's a he's a melee combat guy. What are we doing? Why are we attacking all these guys with no health? We are being totally insane, aren't we? Okay, where are we? Oh, I know where we are. Look, where so we're above here, where we can come in, and down this way, it was where we got the shield. I don't believe there's actually anything else up here, like down, down this route. I don't want to take it because then we've got to loop back around on ourselves. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! god if you attack the shield, it goes really wrong. Come on. Okay, we got him. We've got slightly more health than before. <laughs> right, what else we got? I've never been so t careful in Dark Souls ever. Some monster's gonna jump out and I'm gonna die and I'm gonna shit my pants at the same time. It's not gonna be pretty. Okay, so if we drop down there, we should be able to get to that item. Yep. Looking good in the whole item front. I think we might homeward bone back to the previous bonfire now. Ring of Sacrifice. Now that's interesting. What does that do? Oh, it's a lose nothing upon death. Okay, so those rings are really useful if you're like somewhere really far away from a bonfire and stuff, um, and you, you really don't want to die. They're useful for that. Okay, so have we cleared out this whole area now? The whole area. So we we missed a loot lizard. Oh my god, that ghost maybe absolutely crap my pants. Yeah, we explored this whole area. It's somewhere up there. What's up there? Is it a dead monster? I can't tell. Um, yeah, what's along there? Hmm. This just drops down. And that's a dead end. Okay. Right, so where have we not explored in this in this land? I think we might have done the entire castle, apart from that uh, loot lizard. I think we might have done the whole thing. On like no health. <laughs> Absolutely no health. We've creeped and crawled and snuck and and scraped our way through this area. Yeah, we have, haven't we? We've done this whole castle zone. Okay. Oh, I know how to get to where I was seeing. Like, you can go down this way. This is where it said be wary of sorcerer. Is this new actually? Hang on. Is this new? I feel like this is new up here. I've not been up here, have I? No, definitely not been up here. Okay. 
We must be cautious. Oh, hang on, we've got an Estus flask. How did we get an Estus flask? How did... We got an Estus flask somehow. How did we get that? I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm at a comfortable amount of health to actually continue exploring now, but... How did we get the Estus flask? Oh, there's a fella here. Okay, is he friendly? Hello? Hi! Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? Um... This is my study that you've happened upon. Can I look at the scrolls he's got? If you haven't any business, I have reading to get back to. Um... Sorceries? How intriguing. You'd better not. <laughs> Sorcery is not for everyone. And should never be forced. I think... You have your own methods. Sorcery need not be one of them. Don't let it bother you. <laughs> be on your way, then. <laughs> You're on Kindle. Oh. Shouldn't you get back to your duty? So, what he's referring to, right, is that my character's kind of dumb. So if you look at my character stats, his intelligence is 8. His faith is 9. Um, I'm, I'm not an intelligent character. I'm, I, I hit things. Right, I hit things. And he's, I'm saying like, can I learn sorceries, please? And he's looked at me and gone, um, you know, I don't think sorcery is for everybody. Like, you, you've got your own methods. Why don't you stick with that? <laughs> oh, I thought you'd already given up. Well, nothing has changed. You're not inclined for sorcery. It is either a natural fit or no fit at all. Right. Be on your way then. I don't think Burn he's. Kindle. Shouldn't you get back to your duty? He's not going to talk to me, which is fine. I don't need sorceries. Any uh, items around here? No. Okay. So I fought my way through the bottom down here, haven't I? Yes. Okay. God, is this? You see what I mean with Dark Souls, though? It's, it, there's so many nooks and crannies. Um, it's so easy to miss things. Ah, here's the staircase I glimpsed um, when I was down in that lower floor. Blue bug pellet. Two. Two blue blug bug pellets. These temporarily boost magic damage absorption. Cool. Go beans. Oh. Crack my jaw. Okay, so the only place I've got left to go in this particular castle is up the hill now. Um, okay, so there's actually the loot lizard I didn't kill. So there's a loot lizard and I need to go up um, into this open area. Oh, and there is, um, across the other side, like past some of the big crabs, there's definitely another way into the castle. Oh, and there's a ladder down. Jeez, there's actually quite a lot of places that I could go to. So, um, I feel a bit more brave to have a look out here now that I've got a decent bit of health. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a boss. We've wandered into a boss and we can't go back out again. <laughs> oh my god. I, I can't fight a boss here. Look, hang on, hang on. Uh, last bond. Shrine bonfire. Oh, give me a break. Come on. Okay, right. I'm sorry, maybe that's anticlimactic, right? I've got no health potions. Um, I've got two levels worth of stuff to level up. I'm not about to fight a random ass boss at this moment. Jeez, okay. 
Um, let's go get our more Estus flask, shall we? Hey. Ah, well, Matt, tis good to see ye in good health. Thanks. What needs smithing this day? Right, what needs smithing is we'd like to reinforce our Estus flask, please. Yeah. Um, can we reinforce it anymore? No. Cool. Pretty be careful. Pretty be careful. Um, who else have we got? Any more NPCs we could talk to? This guy's gone because I sent him to go and pillage some some stuff. And will this person give me levels? Hello. Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome, Welcome back. back. I would do anything for my master. Just say the word. If you could level me up for free, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, look, he can draw out true strength. Be safe. Okay, so um, I must have died a couple of times. So we're going to go level up twice, and then we'll use um, his buff thing. So one thing is, hang on, how much strength do I need for the Mega Club? 28. So we need 4 more strength to be able to use this big club. Up to 32, I guess, for these biggest weapons. We're getting quite strength orientated, which is fine with me. Fine with me. Hello. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. I'd like to level up. Then take oh, um. So I think we're gonna just keep piling the points into strength. Yeah, look, we just got enough to level up twice. That's perfect. Bam. Very well. Right, let's see what this guy's got to say. Sometimes he says some cool stuff. The undead legion of Faron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Mm. Gaining admission to the legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, Snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even okay. the cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. This guy seems so down all the time. <laughs> it's not that bad, dude. Gaining admission okay, we've, we've heard that. Right, um, now we're going to go back to this other dude level up twice. I don't know if it if it matters. Um, uh, what we can do, we can test to see if it matters actually. Right. So if we go and see how many souls it takes to level up and then get this guy to levels up and um, we'll see if it, if it affects it. Yeah look we're hollowing seven, that's not very good. So if we go to explanation, it says um, the degree to which this character is cursed. The character will turn hollow if the curse grows too severe. So I guess we don't want to hollow too much. Oh yeah, sorry. So it takes 9505 to level up. Oh, I will. Then shall we begin? Bearer. More strength. Be safe, champion of Ash. Character's face still seems fine. Someone was sure that my face would change when I did this leveling up. Yeah, look, required souls. It was nine five oh five, and now it's nine nine five six. So it is definitely better to postpone this guy's leveling up. Um, until after, after leveling, like, just like what I was doing. Okay, um, what else can we do? Do we need to buy anything? Do we need any resources? We've got arrows. We've got a bunch of fire bombs and throwing knives. I think we're good to to carry on. Now. 
pretty sweet. Okay. So, I think... Hmm. We're going to try and kill the loot lizard, is what we're going to go do. So, the areas we've not... What time is it, actually? Yeah, it's half twelve. I need to go to bed. Okay. So, next time... Now, this is as much a reminder for me as anyone watching. Next time, we are going to go kill the loot lizard that's in the fortress. We've also got um, across the other side there was a kind of way down it looked like there was a black knight in there. Past the crabs. So there's the the black knight past the crabs, there's the loot lizard and there's a ladder down um, and there's a boss that's like up the hill. Um, look like a spellcaster, so yeah, lots to do. Um, hope you enjoyed watching. I'll be back. It probably won't be another video for about a week. Um, in real life, IRL getting in the way. So, all right. Till next time.